coach, a 51 year cancer survivor. I've been very lucky. I've had so much support from the day I was diagnosed to live this long to 92 years old. This walk means so much. It means there's hope and that it's a bright future that's ahead and I can see that we are getting closer and closer to our goal. I started wearing this shirt 21 years ago, Detroit's first race. It, it thrills me, it overwhelms me, and to be surrounded by my sister and a few brother survivors, I know that we're gonna beat this disease. And I'm, I'm a survivor twice, and I've made it twice, and I've gone through chemo and radiation twice, so you can beat it, you can beat it. And I'm gonna beat it for a lot of years. I'm gonna beat it. I went to the doctor, they did some tests, found out that I had uh, breast cancer, uh, did some operations, and uh, six years later, I'm still clean. Uh, I'm still healthy. My team is all about my mom. She founded this team two years ago. We support her every year, and we're going to support her more and more years so we can pray for a cure. After we lost Alyssa, we knew that we really had to regroup and join, get a team together so we could actually fight this so we don't have any to lose any more people. So my team has grown this year. It's went to 20 people. Last year we raised a big amount, $3,600, and yeah. this year we're at 6000 so All it's right. terrific. It's almost overwhelming. It's really emotional when I come here. It's nice to know that people are trying to find a cure and maybe one day we'll find one. We are having a great time, but more importantly, we're going to save some lives. I will do it again next year and every year as long as I have breath in me. This is my first one and I'm a two-time survivor. And the first time I've come to this, this is fabulous. This is, oh, I can't believe it. Blessed truly blessed and God bless everyone here.